What's up? How are you guys? Happy 4th of July week. We're a little late on the vlog this time down here at Frankie's Jewelry's Week because we had some stuff going on over the weekend that we'll get into. But as always, I have a bunch of new stuff for you guys. So I did want to show you and give you guys an update, including the natural probiotic, which I'm really excited about. We have regular collagen peptides at the most affordable price online. And I think we'll be giving those away next week or the week after. So keep an eye out on organ supplements because that's huge. You know, most companies are selling these for like $50 a jar. Uh, we also have Mediterranean chicken marinade. I'm gonna show you guys like Italian Greek style marinade. Uh, we got some fresh duck in. So we were selling like layer hens, which isn't that great duck. Uh, we have boilers in, the duck looks amazing. We have all different cuts. We'll show you guys that in the fridge. Uh, potato chips are back, which I think I told you guys last week, but we'll go over it again. And we have some new collagen protein bars that aren't ready, but uh, I will show you guys and talk about them. Uh, a few things that I did want to mention. Uh, and and we, we canceled all the orders. There were only like 10 people that ordered it. There was some issue with the clay shampoo. There's like natural bacteria in the clay from the soil, and it was like fermenting the shampoo. So I'm just gonna get a company to make it for me because it's, that, that's a little involved and I can only do so much on the cosmetic end. Uh, if you guys are placing like mixed egg orders or not adhering to the what I'm asking on the website, like please order eggs separately or you got like duck eggs, quail eggs, chicken eggs all mixed together. I'm trying my best to fix the orders guys. Uh, I'm, I'm like killing myself working like 12 hours a day. I don't, I don't do anything besides work guys. So if you don't adhere to like the requirements on the website, what I'm telling you guys, there's a very likely chance that <laughs> I'm not going to be able to fix it. I'm, I'm trying to, but guys, please just, just follow the instructions on the website, order the eggs separately, you know, order chicken, duck and quail eggs separately. So otherwise, you know, don't, don't send me 10 emails that you don't have your order after, after waiting for three days. Um, we have a, a small ice order fee. So guys, please try to order at least 10 pounds of meat. There, there's a pretty decent amount of orders, but you know, with the summer heat now, and you know, you guys are ordering like two steaks and five jars of tallow is honestly driving me crazy. <laughs> like, uh, look, I understand some of you guys are trying to support me, but you know, if you're ordering that, I know you're getting most of your meat somewhere else. So, well, I mean, just go buy everything somewhere else. You know, I, I'm. I can't run a business like that, unfortunately. And we're dealing with a lot of harassment still, guys. Uh, and we'll talk about this later. You know, people, I don't know who's hiring these people, these big corporate companies, other meat businesses. They don't want you buying from me. All these people are in the club. They don't like me, that I'm offering the most affordable, high quality products online, that I have integrity, that I'm actually genuinely doing this to, to like help people improve their health. They don't like that, so they hire these people First time customers placing fake reviews. We'll get into that a little later. And uh, that comes with chargebacks. I think we're, we're like three or $4,000 in chargebacks just last week. So uh, any way you guys can support me really helps out a lot if it means placing a positive review on Google, telling your friends about me, even just leaving a positive comment on any of my social media pages, it really helps out. Uh, so let's kind of head over. Uh, it is Tuesday. So we're probably posting the vlog the same day that I'm filming it. I just came down here early to do a few things. I'm gonna to try to get some sun and relax because I only slept like three hours last night. Not feeling so hot. Uh, the, the foam had to rest two days. So the spray foam, uh, we didn't have the freezers on until I came in Sunday night to flip everything back. And uh, me and the HVAC guys and the electrician were here until like 3 a.m. Sunday night fixing the freezers or getting them running so we could start operating on Monday and get all your orders out. So thankfully, Everything's working. Another few thousand dollars in HVAC bills. Uh, one of the fans needed to be rewired. And uh, you guys like that tape gun background noise? Completely lovely, lovely. I don't know, maybe I should get the tape machines, but maybe those are just as loud and they're really expensive. Uh, so fan needed to be rewired on one of the evaporators and then two of the units needed gas. But we should be good until we get, uh, we should be good now, we should be in the clear. I'm gonna get these reefers out of here just because it cost me about $600 over the weekend for those two reefers just renting them. I'm, I'm hemorrhaging money, guys, it's, it's actually insane. It's insane. Yeah, so we got all my guys packing up orders today. 
tomorrow, get everything out before 4th of July. So this is the collagen that we just got in for you guys. Your typical 100% grass fed collagen peptides. These are the most affordable online. It's like $20 a container. And we also have the natural collagen. I mean, this doesn't mix as well and some of you guys don't really like the flavor, which is why I decided to get this. So, you know, I guarantee you most other companies charging $40, $50 per container for these. So, trying to help you guys out. All right, so we'll hop in the fridge and show you guys what's going on. A lot of new things in here if I can remember them. As usual, this is all the fresh raw dairy going out. So our newest dairy product is raw sheep cheese. This is $20 per pound, I think, which is, I'm guessing, kind of market price for cheap cheese. This is really expensive stuff to make, guys. Uh, so we're kind of trying this out to see if there's any demand. So if you go under the sheep milk products, we have sheep milk, sheep kefir, sheep yogurt, and sheep cheese. Uh, I've been trying to get my farmer to get some goats in, but he doesn't understand that. Uh, I think you guys would buy a lot of goat milk products too, but this is our latest thing we have available. So we didn't have time to put these away yet. These are our new collagen protein bars. Uh, we have white chocolate macadamia nut, and then we have dark chocolate hazelnut. So these will be available uh, soon, hopefully by the weekend. These are amazing, these are delicious, I love these. They're nutritionally complete. You know, you got your protein, your fats, your carbs, your starch, a little bit of sugar. You have everything you need in these. And I'm excited because I think we're gonna be able to offer them for like $3 or less a uh, bar. I think to start, it's gonna be more because unfortunately, like I haven't figured out the recipe yet and these are really hard to make. But moving forward, we should be able to get these to you guys really affordably. Uh, I really like these for breakfast and uh, super easy and convenient, so I'm excited to, to launch these soon. So guys, check Frankie's Free Range Foods by like uh, the weekend, we should have these available. What's also in the fridge here is our probiotic. This is refrigerated. So I mean, come like fall and winter, you guys can just order this without the refrigerated shipping, but we're charging uh, $20 for regular refrigerated shipping and $30 for West Coast. So. You know, the, the cooler and ice packs cost me close to $10 and then the actual shipping itself is more expensive because we got to send it with FedEx instead of the post office. So uh, you're going to get ice. You can fit like 20 of these in here. So yeah, you're paying $20 for shipping, but you could order basically as many probiotics as you want. You know, you can order 20 or 30 of these, stock up and uh, and then get, get it shipped cold. This is just kind of like a guarantee. Like, yeah, you guys can risk just ordering it without the cold shipping, and I'll send it, but, you know, if the probiotic gets too hot on the truck is the problem. What's also new, and we have it fresh in the fridge, is duck. So, as I said earlier, we have been selling the whole layer hens, but these broilers are much larger, and they have a lot more meat. So we got a nice, fat, five pound duck here and in all these crates are all the different cuts of duck that we have available. So up here on top we have the duck legs which is the uh, leg, the drumstick and the thigh meat. Over here we have some duck wings. So most of the stuff is packed individually. Like it's you get one leg, duck is expensive. Uh, we have two duck wings per package. Over here we have the kind of the prized possession and what duck is known for. We have these beautiful duck breasts. I think they're $20 each right now for corn and soy free. Uh, I can probably lower the price uh, once we confirm how much the farmer is charging us, but I mean this is probably way cheaper online than any other duck and it's corn and soy free. So highest quality duck, most affordable price online. Unfortunately, duck still isn't cheap, but I think we might be able to reduce the price. Right now we just have a very small amount. Uh, these are the duck heads. A lot of you guys like buying these for your pets. Quack, quack. There you go. Duck feet. I think we put uh, four duck feet per container. We're just trying to portion them smaller so we can sell them for like, you know, five or six dollars and everyone can get some to try if you want them. And then up last we have the, the duck liver and heart. So I think this is four or five dollars. You just get um, maybe even cheaper than that. You just get your single duck liver, single duck heart. Those are the organs. I wonder what he did with the, the kidneys. So that's all the new stuff. As always guys, we have our 
fresh cooked rare roast beef. Really delicious. We have pastrami in stock. I actually like this new batch better than the last one. I've been eating the pastrami every day for lunch. Really delicious. We have the beef bacon, kind of running low. Uh, we gotta slice some more, but we have plenty of, plenty of pastrami and bacon here. And then we have the pork bacon, which we still have a decent amount of. Yeah, so I'm gonna switch over to my phone, hop in the freezer and see if there's a few quick things to show you guys. All right, so it is nice and cold in here. We are down to zero degrees, which I like to see because we got all the units running, full gas with the foam the walls. Our local ground beef looks great. Really enjoying this, guys. We fixed the product, so 100%. We still haven't organized this. We're honestly just scrambling to get all the orders out this week because we just put all the meat back in the freezer yesterday. I'm just trying to see if I can find the, uh, the Mediterranean chicken to show you guys. All right, these are the buffalo chicken wings. So this is one of the marinades we have. Ah, uh, okay. This is all of our new Mediterranean style marinated chicken. I guess you could call it like um, a Greek or Italian marinade. It's coconut aminos with those like typical herbs. We got a lot of oregano in there, garlic, fresh lemon zest, fresh squeezed lemon, little bit of honey. Really, really delicious chicken marinade. So. When you go to, to buy the chicken on the website, for each cut, whether it's like the thighs, the drumsticks, the whole roast chicken, we have a lot of breasts, you can choose between regular plain chicken or Mediterranean style marinade. So this is really nice and delicious and takes a lot of the prep out of it. Just like we did with our carne asada steaks, just like we have with the buffalo chicken wings. Yeah, me and my guys worked really hard to get that freezer clean. Like, the spray foam guy came and pressure washed all the walls, spray foamed it. Then we went in, we pressure washed the floor for like two days, got everything really, really nice and clean. So I think that freezer is the cleanest it's been in about 40 years. Uh, so naturals, guys. Some liquidation stuff. As I said, we had a problem with the clay shampoo, so I issued a refund to everyone that bought it. I emailed them, I said, hey, don't use it. Um, I'll go a little more into that. So like, there's naturally occurring microbes in soil, which is where clay is from. And like, when it got contact with water, it like went bad. It like started fermenting and had this like really, uh, this kind of weird smell. I used it, it was really effective at cleaning. It's just, and honestly, it's probably like, a healthy bacteria to be washing your body with, but I don't, I'm not risking that. That's, <laughs> I don't want anything to do that. We'll, we'll, we'll get someone else to make it properly and we'll figure that out. And we should have a, a, another few new products coming on the natural soon. Hopefully we get them within a month. I don't know what this company is doing, uh, but we're walking over to our potato chip room here. We have the highest quality organic puffed grains that you cannot buy anywhere else. These are on frankiestrangefoods.com. We have puffed white rice, which is great for cereal or any recipes you want to make. Uh, we did get the popcorn back in stock. Someone keeps emailing me about this. Frank, when are you going to have the popcorn? Frank, when are you going to have the popcorn? I think I'm actually charging way too little for this because six bucks for a bag of white organic popcorn this size. And yeah, I mean, you have to add salt and butter. There's nothing in this, guys. You got to add salt. You got to add butter. You got to add whatever spices and seasonings you want. But no one else is selling puffed organic white popcorn or puffed organic white rice. These are the healthiest, minimally polluted, something that I would even include in my diet on a regular basis. So these are really, really special products as well as our potato chips. We have our Wagyu beef tallow fried potato chips back and there's also some uh, coconut oil around here somewhere. Uh, for each of them, we have three flavors. We have the sea salt and mushroom, plain sea salt, as well as salt and vinegar for both the coconut oil and the Wagyu beef tallow. So, you know, I, I prefer the coconut oil. Some people like the Wagyu beef tallow, but we have all the flavor options for each of them. Uh, yeah, I don't really like selling these for $7 a bag, but there's people selling them for 10. You know, there's like one company online that finally kind of copied my idea and they started selling like corn chips fried and beef tallow, but 
it's insane. I think it's more than ten dollars a bag. I think they're selling them for like eleven or twelve dollars a bag, which is just like to me not an affordable business. So hopefully you guys continue to support us and and maybe we can get set up to manufacture our own because I would really like to get you guys these chips for like you know four dollars a bag if I can, which would be really special. Yeah, we had really bad chargeback last week. This guy, I think his name was Nefreed or something. Um, he placed like four big orders on Wi-Fi shielding and he charged back all of them and it's like two thousand dollars worth of stuff so that's probably more money than I've made on Wi-Fi shielding this year no exaggeration just one dirt bag customer filing a charge back so hopefully the bank sides with me if not we're we're gonna go visit them you know yeah we'll, we'll read um, we'll read a few of the negative stuff but in good news it seems like the the real estate agent that stole my deposit for a, a property that the loan didn't work out on uh, it seems like we're gonna get our money back after I filed the Supreme Court case after they had to hire lawyers to defend themselves so looks like we're gonna get our, our five thousand dollars back which is is good news but still kinda like a, a drop in the bucket in the context of how much money I've been losing so there, there's like these people that place first-time orders and they make stuff up and they leave slanderous reviews about my company so it's been going on for a while it's unfortunate but the reason they do that is because you know when someone who hasn't bought from me and they go to Google reviews and see these fake slanderous reviews it hurts my business so whether these people will ever be held accountable I don't know uh, so we have one here you got a one-star review on your Google business profile purchase nine pounds of raw beef bacon and one pound of dog food their beef bacon was the toughest most sinewy and impossible to chew beef bacon I've ever purchased. Uh, so this girl actually was eating it raw because she didn't read the website that it said, well, it says raw bacon on the website. I guess she didn't, uh, her reading comprehension wasn't too great and she didn't see that. And then after she said she tried it raw, which was not edible, uh, then she tried to cook it. But this is like saying that uh, it, it's a tough cut of meat. This is like saying, oh, brisket is tough. Well, yeah, if you don't cook it properly, it's tough. It's the cut of meat. So this person leaving a one-star review for basically improperly preparing, the it's, it's completely insane. And, of course, it's a first-time customer, you know? And they ordered nine bacon, and I'm, I'm assuming these people that are trying to harass me say, oh, I'm going to order nine of them and say one's bad and try to get a refund for all nine of them. It's, it's, it's just disgusting behavior. We got another guy that... He, I mean, he sent me like like a uh, an essay email, you know, making completely ridiculous things. I myself am an attorney and will gladly represent myself in any sham lawsuit. I will give you one final chance to do the right thing. I will also file a claim with the BBB and consider. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull out my giant freak. I'm gonna pull out my nuts in front of the Better Business Bureau building and leave some condensation on them from my freezer, dude. I'm I'm completely disgusted by these people. Uh, all right, so I sent this guy. He ordered marrow bones to Texas, but he didn't take any photos. He like we put an order slip in every package that says, okay, if there's any issue with your order, send us a photo immediately, and we will reimburse you. But guess what? The first time customer that's being ridiculous via email that claims his his bones arrived in bad condition didn't take a photo doesn't have a photo doesn't have any proof of the condition that the product arrived in go figure I can't help you buddy too bad I would love to read your laundry list of an email and mention your name but um we'll see what the bank says and if the bank gives you your money back then I'll let everyone know who you are and how ridiculous you act I, I get emails too like someone emailed me about their eggs being bad and I look up the order and it's from like a month and a half ago, which is past the shelf life of the eggs. And I just tell them, hey, you can order three dozen eggs on frankiesrangefoods.com. And that, that's happened on more than one occasion, so I'm guessing it's the same group of people that are trying to harass me. Like, they, they think I'm not going to check when they ordered the eggs. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just dealing with all this negative stuff every week, guys. And the reason I have to mention it is because... 
you know, I have to give people some incentive to say, hey, you know, next time you go to Costco, next time you order from these other companies, these companies are in, in the club that are the same people that are harassing me. Think about that. The, oh, we're at Costco. We have all these new cheap, cool products for you to try. And they got a knife behind their back ready to stab anyone that, that's trying to... to they, 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 don't, they want everyone else out of business. That's just how it is. These people are selfish. They want all the money to themselves. The reason I have all these creative and unique products that no one is selling is because, you know, this is what I genuinely care about. I have a vested interest in health and nutrition, and I apply that to all of my businesses. So you guys come to me for unique stuff, but I don't know. I'm, I'm on a too, too much negative bull crap, you know, too much. You know, I, I, Two thousand dollar chargebacks. These other people leaving negative reviews on my business. This stuff happening every week, you know, that that kid that stole my best bar idea. The court doesn't care at all. You know, it's 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 insane. And like all, all I can do is thank you guys for helping me and supporting me. But there's only so much you guys can do, you know. I'm just the guy you buy steaks from. Yeah, so we showed you guys all the new stuff. Uh, we went over a few positives and negatives that have been going on this week. Uh, I guess we'll read a few reviews. And uh, Five-star review for the beef adrenal glands. Lowered my cortisol levels. I can tell a difference after cooking a few pieces of the adrenal gland in my eggs. My anxiety and stress has gone down tremendously. These are helping to restore my adrenal glands back to health. Yeah, so adrenals... Uh, probably have like the most varied, varied amount of hormones in the body. You know, they have sex hormones, they have all different types of hormones. Um, so try to eat like, I think it's, I always forget, there's like the inner part of the adrenal and the outer part of the adrenal. It's better to eat the outer part of the adrenal because the inner part has the stress hormones in it. Five star view for the pasture's Iberico Pork St. Louis ribs. I'm in Italy when I eat these, baby. My papa is quite ill and losing weight way too fast. I made these ribs for Father's Day with a peach and apricot homemade barbecue sauce. As he ate his bite, he yelled, I'm in Italy when I eat these, baby. Tell Frankie I've never had better. These ribs are not only delicious, but they're easy to prep and cook. Our entire household says thank you, Frankie. Um, and anytime someone mentions like someone in their family is sick, I always like say, hey, make sure you get them some Wi-Fi shielding and, and low radiation clothing because... That, that, that's the real thing that makes most people sick is the radiation levels. Five star view for the pasture-raised chicken eggs. Only eggs will eat. Corn and soy-free eggs are almost impossible to come by, let alone at a fair price. These eggs are superior quality at a fair price. Uh, and then some guy sent me an email uh, basically saying, you know, the meat exceeded the quality expectations and they're a reasonable price. Uh, the packaging had everything arriving frozen solid, even though they were in a heat wave. I also just sent a nice email uh, saying that he, he he's happy with the service that we provided. Uh, five star view for the collagen hot dogs, sausage, blood sausage, Frankie's meat. Hard to be Frankie's sausage. Long. All right, you guys are you guys are like you want to read a silly review? I'm not saying that out loud. <laughs> Uh, five star view for the wild caught salmon caviar roe fish eggs. Excellent. This salmon roe ranks up there with the best I've had at fine sushi restaurants. It's a pleasure to be able to enjoy this at home. We'll purchase again. Uh, this is the review for the Iberico pork sausage. Can't make Sunday sauce without them. Phenomenal taste. Yeah. Uh, guys, a lot of the products we offer are really, really special and no one else has them. It's, and I'm trying to do it as affordably as possible. Another review for the eggs. Most excellent. Just about finished my first order of my many, many eggs, so just ordered another batch. The packaging is great as I didn't have any eggs broken upon arrival. The taste and color of the yolks are so good. And we got a review for another egg review. The best eggs ever. You can tell it's not farm raised. By the yolk color, the smell is not oddly strong. The taste is amazing and doesn't cause inflammation through my body. Yeah, another person sent me like a, a long email, like another essay, ranting about Oh, the order's been sitting in a factory. Dun, dun, dun. I'm trying to call you. I'm very unhappy. The world is ending. And then three days later when their package arrives, we have just received our order and thankfully everything is still frozen and in good condition. We look forward to tucking into our goodies. You guys drive me crazy. We got a review for the chocolate chip granola bar. The best granola bars ever. I just bought these bars and they're absolutely amazing. 
It's hard to eat just one because they taste so good. The bar does fill you up though and the ingredients are incredibly healthy. These bars would go perfect with some coffee or tea. Uh, then we got a review for the duck eggs. Great quality as expected. Cannot beat the price Frank is charging for these either. Highly recommend you buy these. Uh, five star review for the grass fed marrow oil. One of a kind. Bro, are you kidding me with this? I challenge anyone to find this anywhere else. Freaking epic. Yeah, no, we, again, I'll say it again. We have a lot of special products that no one else sells, and we, we, we try to make them affordable. Uh, we got a review for the meat granola. Okay, so I like to break this up into my protein shakes for added protein, and it provides those little soft, chewy pieces that make the shake like a Jim Bro version of a Dairy Queen Blizzard. Yeah. Um, I guess with the economy and stuff, like people haven't been spending as much money, so we used to sell a lot of that meat granola, but like we barely sell any now. Uh, here, here's another negative interaction. So someone tried the same thing, like they sent me an email complaining that the water arrived in poor condition, but they didn't take any photos. So I can only, I mean, it says it in the order slips we put in the boxes. It says it in the FAQ page on the website, like. When someone can't just take their phone and take a photo of the of the package they received, it shows me that they're just trying to take advantage of me because it's completely silly. You know, was it the 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 boy who cried wolf? I think the last review. Grass fed ribeye package, best quality and price. They come in all one pound vacuum sealed packages. Best ribeyes I've had, flavor and texture wise, beats out even the pricier supermarket steaks. Also, it's cheaper than its equivalent grass-fed steaks from supermarkets. So cheaper and better, not much else to say. All right, guys, I think that's everything. I'm going to try to relax in the sun for a few hours and hopefully feel better. Uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't, I haven't eaten breakfast or lunch for, like, the past week. With all the freezer nonsense, with all the stuff going wrong with the business, like... I guess I'm in pretty good shape. I've been losing a lot of weight, but... Uh, you know, and at this point, like, and I've talked about this before, but like when I see people running other businesses and da, 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 and I don't want to get too much into it, but you know, when these people are in the club, they have, they have a successful business. They have a nice life, work, family balance. They enjoy their life. I'm down here killing myself, losing my mind every single week, dealing with all this negative stuff for what, for what, you know? Because this world is run by a few greedy, selfish people, you know, that don't know when to stop. All right, that's it. I won't complain anymore to you guys. I'm excited about the new stuff. Uh, hopefully, we get everything sorted out. We'll have the new protein bars for you guys. We'll do some giveaways and uh, hopefully have everything organized by the weekend. Yeah, maybe a few other things I'm kind of looking forward to. Uh, maybe some stuff for you guys that's really unique that I can get, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen yet. So you guys go to frankiestrangemeat.com, you'll see all of the interesting and creative products that we try to do for you guys. Uh, if you go to frankiestrangefoods.com, you'll see a lot of the other stuff I mentioned that you guys might not be aware of. OregonSupplements.com for all that new stuff. We're going to do some giveaways soon. So we'll not only have a collagen giveaway soon, you'll also have the Kratom uh, that you can get free with your order the sample pill. And then we just have Wi-Fi shielding. I'm always wearing the clothing, guys. We got Frankie's Naturals. Hopefully we do some new stuff soon. And uh, what's my other business? Is that it? Yeah, I think that's all the businesses. Who knows? I was, we were supposed to start another business this year, but I was worried about the copying and plagiarism, and it was such a unique idea that I just put it off. You know? But anyway, thanks again, guys. We'll see you for the next video.